Oh, that's a good song. Yeah, it's pretty good. Shadows. He is stronger than steel and moves faster than a whirlwind. Sometimes he hides in mud. <laughs> Other times he transforms his shape like an ever-changing cloud. Although his fighting spirit burns like fire, his mind is as calm as still water. Violation of the commandments. <laughs> Should Shinobi fail before completing the mission, he will disappear before the dawn and vanish forever. Keep this knowledge in your heart and mind. From the secret manual of Oboro Ninjitsu. Look at that perfect circular room. Very nice. Very fancy. Return of the Ninja Master. You gonna mess with the options? I guess we can look at you, it. You know. might, you might want to adjust some things in here. Okay, it starts on normal. This is okay. fine. Okay, sure. This is fine. Every you got this, Bob? I no, but I got this. <laughs> Zed's Records Resurrection. Sorry, Resurrection. Very cool screen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, I need to find where the buttons are on this. This is the first time using the, the dual shock. Well. Well. <laughs> yeah, I already wasted my magic, I know. Good start. I guess the magic made you invulnerable to shooty Ken? Yeah. Hmm. Surprised it's lasting this long. Was it the octagon where it's like only Sakura can train ninja? I think that's right. I wish he sounded half as cool as I just did saying that. Yeah, <laughs> his name's Sakura, but I'm pretty sure he just says only Sakura can train ninja. No, it was like Sakura. It was like, you mean Sakura? And he's like, Sakura. And we're like, no, that's Sakura. And he's like, Sakura. And we're like, Jesus Christ. Actually, it was in Sakura. It was like Su. It was like Ligma. <laughs> it was. It was not good enunciation. Ooh, we're swapping backgrounds, aren't we? Yeah, we are. That's fancy. Very fancy. Oh, very cool, sir. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, oh my eye. Okay, and then you just hit him once and he explodes. Jesus. Yeah, those are the training ones. This is the oh, real deal. Oh, this is the real deal? He's yellow. Oh, I see that. Um, is he super samurai? Oh, and it does a it does a boomerang. It's very clever. They taught you a thing and then, <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Well then. It could have been because I had the electric aura. Oh wait, I also have the powered up shurikens too. You, you know what's a trip on analog TVs? What's that? Uh, Overscan, look at the top right. See how your porter for your health and all that stuff just shoots way off the screen? Ah, uh, yeah. Someday I will fully calibrate this TV, but until then, I think it looks pretty nice. Only the Sega Genesis is bold enough to put shit all the way out there. <laughs> I think we had some clipping on Mega Man. That's a bomb. Yeah, it is. Oh, no! <laughs> and that's a shuriken. If I attempt not to take damage from the bomb, it's like, oh, I'll show a shuriken at him. It's like, okay, well, this guy off screen can see you. I always enjoy how many moves you have, like the jump kick downward. And... I bet someone out there right now is upset that we're not playing with composite. <laughs> really? Yeah, because those waterfalls would be doing the uh, composite trick. Oh. Yeah, this is another game they bring up as an example of that. Someday we'll do that, ladies and gentlemen. Someday we will boot a Genesis with a composite on Analog Gaming just to check out a few games. Because I want to see it on a real Genesis. Fair. With its incredibly crappy composite. <laughs> but who knows, this TV made uh, Mega Man 5 look great. It's this TV's great processing versus the the bad Genesis composite. When you touch the bomb, it yeah, goes it down goes faster. It's, oh, it's bad. That's that is that's rough. Just like this. This is real rough. This is real rough. There we go. It tells been a while since I played this. A little bit. I uh, the only Shinobi game I had was uh, the one on the Tiger Electronics. Oof. Yeah, he was pretty cool as far as uh Tiger Electronics games go. He's like, oh, I'm dead. You hit me once. <laughs> no, he's the real boss. He has to be hit twice. This uh, camera system is maybe not great. 
No. They no. did not figure out the Mar Super Mario World camera system trick yet. Thank you, audio cues. <laughs> yeah. Audio cues, ladies and gentlemen, they're important. But yeah, I, I I played the other Shinobis, but I really only like this one and the PS2 one. Like, I I just can't get attached to the, some of the earlier ones. Weirdly enough, the the earlier ones are rudimentary enough mm -hmm. that it does something for me. Yeah, I keep hearing Shadow Dance is like the best one, but it's hard to get used to only being able to walk. Yeah, I think Shinobi one also has you just walk. Yeah. Um... But yeah, there's something about it being so insanely rudimentary arcade game that, mm -hmm. that's neat to me. Yeah, that's fair. I cannot believe this guy's supposed to take this many shuriken. Yeah, I don't have the power up shuriken, so it just takes longer. I also use my spell on extra, too. Yeah. So, I might be able to speed it up by hitting him with my sword. Yeah, I was like, can you hit him with the sword or do a kick or something? Yeah, it might have been faster, but, you know, then it's more dangerous. Secret entry. We're going to scroll this cliff over here. <laughs> How are you doing that? Don't worry about it. No, Joe, tell me. <laughs> uh, It's a really complicated camera move. I forgot. Yeah, it's really great. Jump kicking on the, to the horse. Are you serious? That's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot they drop out of that thing. Yeah, it's really amazing. So do you lose your powered up uh, shuriken when you're uh, hit? Yes. Okay. Luckily that works on that. Yeah, that, that was ridiculous. Something about this horse is like click, click and create horse. I don't know. Something about its art style is real weird. It does just look like overly realistic in a way. Yes, there's a lot of detailed shading on it. I wonder if in composite video that color choice for the brightest color on it makes sense. Maybe. Right, right now it reminds me of the shit birds from uh the Super NES version of Rondo. I do get, I do see that. It yeah. is a little bit looks like it breaking. Yeah, and I, I think... Um, which, th that's just how those birds look. Right. Yeah, so I, I think on composite, that would just look more correct. I mean, we gotta play some Golemon in the series. Yeah, how have we not done that? Because there's so many video games. Oh, yeah, that's true. Also, we're only like... I don't know... We're under, I'm gonna pick a safe number because I don't know which number this is. Right. We're under 13 of these, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably close to 10. As it turns out, there are a lot of really great games. Some are 2D, others are 3D. I know, hard to believe. <laughs> Let's just hit him with this. <laughs> he just stabbed it in his head. I think really the stopping the time thing, stopping time thing was really the main thing here. That was the real trick. I probably, that was probably <laughs> way overkill. Just inserted into his fucking skull. This is a really different area. How the hell does this connect to that last one? Uh, I took my horse all the way here. He just didn't notice the city coming up and everything else. Wow, that's crazy. I, I guess I need to pay more attention. So you owned a Genesis growing up. Yeah. But you didn't own this game, did you? I did not, unfortunately. You would have loved this. Yes, for sure. I had no idea this existed when I was growing up. I mean, I've never seen it around. Yeah, I like even now I don't feel like I've seen the cartridge anywhere. Was it just? No, I have no idea what the cartridge even looks like. Yeah, man, that's messed up. It sucks. But no, I had you know. 
Sonic games, Altered Beast, Shadow of the Beast. Ah, uh, you were doing okay there. Robo Kid. I feel like Genesis versus Shadow of the Beast is real rough. It's cool. It is cool. It's I cool. I could never figure out what to do with it, but it was very cool. Oh man, that is a fancy background scroll. It really is. Oh. Now I know why I've seen this exact area. Mm. So we used to use an X Capture One external USB 3.0 capture card. Yeah. There was only like one place that did a quality review of that. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but I'm gonna try. 645, I think. He's in the fighting game community, does uh, commentator stuff and capture card reviews. Oh yeah, I remember that. He uploaded a video of this. I think that was a composite from Genesis, uh, recorded straight into it. Video. No! And that was how I knew that it- that, uh, that capture card's pretty good for retro stuff, at least for the time. Right. Nowadays, I wouldn't- I wouldn't use that at all. We sold that. We didn't even sell the capture card before that. We sold that one, though. Because <laughs> it was worth anything. And we had a limited budget. Right. Sure, I can because I just did a, the explosion thing. Yeah, how do you do that? Uh, it's doing the double jump, and then when you're do spinning, you can hit okay. the attack button. And you just okay. that instead. Yeah, I've seen other games that do that. This soundtrack's really going for it, and I'm enjoying it. I like my cross block a lot. <laughs> you look like you have your hands over your crotch while you're doing it. A little bit. I know that you're supposed to be hands on thighs. <laughs> oh, that squishes my controls. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Big Think Dimension. I'm your host, Dan Video Games, and with me, as usual, is Bob. Hey, guys. From Gigaboots. Uh, and the other two aren't here because this is analog gaming, actually. <laughs> We fooled you. I'm, I'm really glad this this theme only now comes out to play. <laughs> That's a really cool effect, but it turns my shirt again. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that's like a lot of work. It's like fortune. Ooh, oh, no. The enemy is uh, bending your shuriken's projectiles around it. Yes. I was like... Because it's psychic. <laughs> definitely psychic. Nothing else. What, it's got a brain in there. It does have a brain in there, because, oh man, Shinobi 3 is cool. Shinobi 3 really is cool. There we go, I broke a brain. How do you like that? You don't, because you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! You can't like things anymore, I blew you up. <laughs> Shinobi bonus, zero. Oh. oh. You're not very- that wasn't very honorable of you. Body weapon. Oh god, body weapon. I don't like the sound of that or that picture. Yeah, I know. It's not good. Uh, is this going to be like goopy mine hallway? Yeah, those are bio weapons. We're going to fight Brawly. <laughs> oh, there he, there he is. There he is. Man, that was like fucking time. <laughs> right? <laughs> Boss of this level. It's like a bio Brawly that looks like Gohan doing the thumb point to get himself. <laughs> Uh, brace yourself. Oh no. <laughs> so hey Bob, the mister is pretty cool. Yeah it is. Yeah. I uh I wish everyone who had an interest in retro gaming could get a mister. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's incredible. It's really amazing. Oh jeez. Ooh. Yeah. It has legs. Leg brains. Brain legs. It's not the it's the DS game, brain legs. <laughs> Where Professor What's-His-Face teaches you how to get ripped in your legs by thinking. Jesus. I don't remember that one. It's pretty wild. It was on the 3DS. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> it had 3D brain legs. <laughs> Anything could be on that. <laughs> That's true. You can't prove it wasn't. Man, that launch lineup for the 3DS is dire. It really is. When Pilot Wings Resort is by, by far and away the, like, most full game... And, like, high-effort game. That's a problem. Yeah, that the whole launch year was rough. I don't feel like I got anything worthwhile until Dead or Alive, of all things. I think... 
Well, Dead or Alive was three months after launch. Yes. Um, I was gonna say, when it really started to turn around is when Super Mario 3D Land showed up. Yeah. That's when you knew, oh, N Nintendo's gonna ship any games for this. That's good. <laughs> God, yeah, they, they, they... That may be one of the most botched systems. Yeah. Like, the, the Wii U is a botched... How do I say this? They botched the idea, the concept of the console. Yes. The actual launch and execution and support, not that bad. But the 3DS, not only is the concept not amazing, because it's, well, the, well, it does 3D graphics, so it looks 3D. Um, oh, I didn't realize you could do a hop, jump, and then flip back. Oh my god, that's cool as hell. Yeah, no. That changes everything, honestly. It does. I'm not even being facetious. That's... That's Man. great. I was trying to think of it. I was like, this might still be the best, like, 2D ninja game. Does Act Razor Or not Act Razor? Does a uh, Run <laughs> Saber count? I don't know. I really like Run Saber. I like this a lot more than Run Saber, but you're See, I, I'm the reverse. I like that a lot more than this. But the levels and shit in this, there's money here. Yeah. No, there's it's... way less money in Run Saber. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Run, Run Saber's levels are a third as long, and they do not have anywhere near as much money as this. That's for sure. Just something about the movement and stuff in this I was never a fan of, but... I still think it's really cool, and maybe if I grew up with it, I would have, like, some attachment. But I, I, I've played this game, like, a few different times, and I'm like, it's it's alright. Yeah, it's one of those things, like, I absolutely can't stand the way you move in Run Saber. Whereas this, I, I feel like I have tons of options. Well, you always, you always gotta be holding up to do the cool jump. <laughs> that's that's important. Run Saber has too much inspiration from a fighter in a very bad game. <laughs> well... You know, it's it's the it's the thinking man slider or er, strider slider. It's the thinking man slider. Humanity doesn't need that. No. Man, this is uh. But yeah, look at this guy. This is a lot. What are we doing? Oh. So, are we trying to find a scroll to hit him with? What's... No, no, we're trying to run from him. Okay, this, that's it. Yeah, We're just evading him. Yeah, this is just him. This is an enemy in the background sort of okay. thing. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Now we get to face it. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's like a run saber boss that looks good. Because <laughs> he makes different faces and has a cool filter on him, like distorting him and stuff. Yeah, that's a really impressive boss. Yeah. Look, Bob, I think we can come together on one topic. What's that? Both Shinobi 3 and Run Saber are vastly better than Act Razor 2. <laughs> I don't think that actually hurt him. I think he was Yeah, like I don't think that hurt him either. That's that's a dick move. It really is. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh, we're going this way. Act Razor 2 is so depressing. I've I, I don't think I've ever owned a more upsetting game in my life. I think I think Mighty Number no. 9 may have broken my heart less. Cause, cause, you could expect KG to fuck that up. Yeah. There's no reason the sequel to one of the best Super NES games needs to be Act Racer 2. That thing's unreasonably bad. Ugh. Not only that, it's like I'm struggling to think of a game that feels as bad as Act Racer 2. I assume you do a double jump to stay above it. Maybe. Can you sword slash if you're close enough to his eyes? Nope. Nope. Oh, oh you can. You get insanely close. Oh, he's going to come out all the way over here. These bosses take a ton of hits just like Shinobi 1. Yeah, that's rough. Ooh. Next phase. This is one of the most impressive looking bosses I think I've seen on the Genesis. Like, I'm struggling to think of what competes with it. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
Yeah, he just can't get hit until he finishes doing his hand thing. It's rough. Mm-hmm. Then you just stab him while he's in the ground and he raises his hand behind his own head. God. He's gonna do it again. Man. Oh, you can wall jump. I don't know if I can wall jump I off that I thought you just back. wall jumped off the left side. No, that was just that the was double That was just jump. the double? Okay, so you just need to be timing your double jump. Yeah, the timing on the double jump can be a little rough. I oh, think, yeah? I feel like it's really... It's harder here than anywhere else because I'm sinking, so it's really hard for me to judge because I'm used to... It. You know how it works normally but you're judging it based on height normally not timing yeah gotcha okay yeah i could see that i could see that causing problems i'm trying to think of 2d action games i really dislike even not just as much as um as act racer 2 because it's a really high bar Oh. Well, well that a did a crap load of damage. Jesus, he's basically at the point he was before. And I'm not running out of shuriken completely yet. Oh, oh he's dead. There we go. Nice. 300 shuriken in his body in the photo. <laughs> Destruction. Do we get the cool... The cool astral heat. Sequence? We do an astral heat. You just grab him and jump into the orbit and <laughs> slam him into the ground. Yeah, the surfing episode. Yeah, it's really good. These fuckers played that TMNT game. <laughs> this has been Sega Lord X. Thank you for watching. He used this song a few times. Of course. You I know, mean, it's this and that Batman song. If you're using Genesis music, man. Then this is up there. Yeah, I know. I was the one who made it the big thing. <laughs> right. That other one for months. Yeah, that's something else that really helps. It's like, oh man, it's a, it's a really good ninja game. That has great music. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's music is really, really good. Like it's incredible actually. When, why have why is Sega not made any more Shinobi games? It's, I don't know. It's sad. It sucks. They made that 3DS one, which is upsetting. Yeah. They shouldn't have done that. I I wish I you know what, Joe from Red or Joe from GameSag. He probably played that one on some episode. Oh my god, maybe. I need to check the database, because, you know, in case you didn't know, there is a maintained da database of every game they've played and what episode it showed up in. Cool. Yeah, no, that's incredible. It's a really great feature. Should probably get on doing that for, you know, retro roulettes. <laughs> Oof. We already have the timestamps for almost all of them. Okay, so it's not completely insane. It's it's only a little insane. This is probably one of the highest budget Genesis games I've ever seen. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what would be higher budget. Beyond Oasis certainly looks expensive. Yes, it does. Uh, it just runs at 30 frames per second because Ancient's evil like that. <laughs> they have a monkey's paw with them at all times. It's true. <laughs> I love I love that company and a lot of the things they turn out, I just... It, it breaks my heart that that game's 30 frames per second and, and has tons of slowdown. Uh, Sonic 3 Knuckles. That yes. has more money than this. Yes. I had to think. I that had to is... think for a long time, and I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's it. That's that's the one. Oh, huh. oh no. Huh. That was bad. Huh. That did not go well. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he might be dead. <laughs> so are you supposed to be Joe Musashi? Yes, I'm Joe Musashi in this game. Okay, yeah, this is the exact outfit he wears in the PS2 Shinobi game. Yes. 
think the only questionable one is Shinobi uh, Arcade. I'm not sure on that. Yeah. Okay. Because he just looks nothing like him in that. Like, he's wearing a black outfit and mm -hmm. no hood. Mm -hmm. So I have no idea. So you may dance shadows, but you not, might not be the original Shinobi. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Ooh. Uh, Golden Axe 3 seems to have a lot of money in it. It does. We need to play that more sometime. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. Golden Axe is great. Why did we play that? I don't remember. Maybe it was just a retro roulette. No. No. I, I think maybe it was us testing the... Oh, yeah, probably was. Was it, it us getting the platinum on that Sega collection? Oh, my God, maybe, yeah. I think it may have been that. That getting the platinum episode. The random live stream. Yes. It was a good live stream. Yeah. As it oh, turns out, when we just play retro games and don't necessarily have a roulette or, you know, have an excuse to play retro games and it's not a roulette, that that can turn out pretty good. Right. Uh, I've had multiple people tell me they really enjoyed our GameCube stream that we just did whatever and our Saturn stream where we just did whatever we wanted to. Right, because then it was like we get to spend however much time we want with some some games that are probably actually good instead of some nightmares people find for us. And then, you know, we spend a ton of time with the fascinating nightmares, like uh, that Batman game on GameCube. Yes! That is one of the best games we've ever found. Y yes. That thing is unreal. Really living up to the uh, Chemco label. The Chemco seal of approval. <laughs> Chemco, I'm pretty sure, was the company that was working on... Um, what was it, an Olympics? An Olympics game? For, for Disney and Sega? And they were like, yeah, and then Mickey Mouse Club Seals. And they're like, what? What, you can't have him do that? And they're like, why? <laughs> why would they have him do that? What? It's weird. <laughs> clearly. It's, um, it's also unhinged, but... <laughs> clearly that too. <laughs> Look at, they were just trying to think of, <laughs> they're just trying to think of some popular sports. <laughs> like clubbing seals? Kemco has very interesting taste. Why are we back on the... Because we got a cool boss fight to do. Do we? I, I thought we did. Seems like we still do, okay. This game, weirdly enough, just comes off as a hi-fi version of, like, TMNT 3. <laughs> oh, the gun! I did not expect like the that. the guns? Weird. Yeah, I didn't expect that either. I wonder if anyone watching this is like, I'm nostalgic for the original Big Thick Dimension Thief. <laughs> Wait, I think I can actually, uh, jump kick him. Can yeah, that, that is- that's where it's at. Now this is where it's really at. <laughs> sure. uh, I missed the health. Oh man, you may want to use your ninja magic yeah, in a see. second here. Let's hit him. You know, as far as ninja magic goes, that that's pretty solid. Yeah, it is. It's, it, turning into ash, exploding, and doing a ton of damage to your opponent. Now I just got my health back. Yeah, because you reformed new. <laughs> yes. Born anew. Nice. Yeah, those illustrations are great. Yeah, they are. Should we should we stop? I'm, <laughs> I'm like. I'm like, at this point, from close to beating this game, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see how much time we got left on the recorder. That's that's the actual important limit factor here. Right. I would feel bad if we got all the way to the end of this game and wiped. This video has been 30 minutes long. We okay. can end it if you want. Okay. Because, uh, yeah. I, I I understand. We have other things that we need to do. We, yeah. we aren't going to get all issues. I have yeah. one life left. 
So yeah, we can stop. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll, we'll we'll stop this. We'll pick this up, and Bob will avenge his youth with this at some point in time. <laughs> Uh, thank you for joining us for this episode of Analog Gaming, where the ending sounds like this. This month's Giga Boots executive producers are Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Red Blaze 27, Brendan O'Sullivan, Dobo Muito Real, Ace Gundam Pilot Adam Admar. Cooper Tank, Zilter, and Virmvarn. Thank you very much to our executive producers. And also these gamers. If you want to be a gamer or ascend to God Kinghood, then head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today.